Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another reading. It's um, Monday, the last Monday of January. It's also the last day of January, January 31st. So welcome to today's reading. Um, I know that it's probably coming out a bit late. Um, the general energy of today has been um, definitely one of, of self-care and things just needing to take a little bit of extra time. So I hope that if you're feeling that, you're taking that extra time for yourself. And uh, I know that I come on here, and um, even when I'm not here, I'm usually the voice of, um, how do I say, you know, take no shit, sort of um, claim your stake, sort of uh, very yang, fire, forward um, energy, and so... I wasn't about to come on here and behave that way when I wasn't feeling it. So, you know, I, I just needed to take some time. I took a nice bath. I ate some yummy food. And um, I just want to say that, that, yeah, there are, even for me, moments of softness. So um, just go with the flow. You know what I mean? And uh, I hope that today's reading is very gentle on all of us and that the messages that come out, only positive messages, please are what you need to hear today and uh, the new moon is tomorrow um, a great time to set some new intentions um, for whatever might be on your mind um, and so this may vary for everybody obviously so depending on how I'm feeling maybe I'll get into an all zodiac check-in if I don't get into it in this reading um, just know that I am thinking about how I'm going to do that and it'll come in the next reading um, or maybe every zodiac will have their own reading I don't know yet because I'm making it up as I go and that's um, that's the fun part so without further ado let's get into some stuff here you'll notice maybe that I got new decks chose new decks Th they, they aren't new though actually one of them is I have I need to show it off for you the Viator Somniorum on your Mancy deck. Gosh, Stephanie, don't kill me. I don't know how to pronounce this, but um, this is um, somebody that I've followed since the beginning of time. Just kidding. This is one of my first Oracle decks that I've ever bought. I don't know how I was able to find this artist, this, this person, this creator in all the digital noise that exists online, but I did, and so I, I go and I watch her... Um, Instagram lives every Sunday. She provides awesome guidance for the week. Thank you, Stephanie, for being a valuable member of the community. She is so loved. And uh, I'm getting, she has another deck. This is the dream deck, dream dream image inspired deck. She has another deck that's um, Gothmancy Tarot, which is Rider Waite um, deck that I'll be getting in the mail here very shortly. I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, let's see what what messages want to come out today. This is an amazing deck. Healing in reverse. Hmm. Other worlds. This is the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, sorry, Ten of Cups. If you were here yesterday, you'll remember that the Ten of Cups was the energy underneath. Here we go. It's sh here. Um, it's showing up, and now we have stuck. Interesting. So the the message might be something that, huh? You know, Stephanie's descriptions of these are very interesting because when we think of cards in the reverse, we think of something not occurring or being prevented, and that's true in some cases. But um, I'll have to check with the with the book. But I believe that healing in reverse. Um, just indicates that healing has been done or is being done currently. Um, ten of ten of cups, uh, happiness, other worlds. There's the portal. You guys remember the portal I've been talking about for forever? It's just the artwork of this is uh, quite literal. You can't mistake that for anything else. Being literally transported to a different place. A place where we no longer feel stuck. A place where we, we are... Um, you know, able to be vulnerable 
because that's what healing really this feels very tender you got to look at the art on this card too we're no longer stuck because we're no longer um, withholding our true nature and we're willing to be vulnerable to open up to people um, and that is leading to some brand new opportunities for the collective. Let's go ahead and read some. Yeah, what steps do you need to take to heal old wounds and progress? Okay, so a healing has or is being prevented or postponed due to either conditioning as a result of past trauma, avoidance of the issue, or further injury involving an old or new cycle. What needs to be healed in your life and how can you begin that journey? Healing in your life <laughs> not keeping that journey of healing. Okay, I just reread that. So I believe that the message today will resonate for whoever feels like they were not really sure how to move forward beyond um, some kind of conditioning or past hurt. And here's Other Worlds, the next one. It generally indicates a complete fantastic or alien realm, can provide insight into untapped worlds within, encouragement to travel, and can also indicate a past life experience. The nature of the world and the beings that inhabit it can indicate a solution and a new way of understanding the world and one's personal depths. It is important to note how we are personally represented in these dreams of other worlds. Uh, representation was something that came up for me this morning as a thought. I was sort of like in the kitchen um, prepping just some food and just thinking about the whole rant of things I wanted to say before the camera um, today that you know once I had the thought and sort of processed it for myself I guess it's it might come out differently in this reading but representation was definitely one of those things um, it was also about um, imposter syndrome and how those feelings of those kinds of feelings can clue us into two things one of two things one it is a sure sign that we are not on our right path that we are not um, being our being and our existence is not representative of who we're supposed to be it's a very real sort of sign you could take because um, that's the body saying things that the soul doesn't know that the ego is blinding the other form of imposter syndrome, or I guess another cause for the symptom of imposter syndrome, is that we don't believe that we are worthy of the representation that we choose. So we might be on the right path, but the way that we're looking at it is not from the right perspective. Okay, so anyway, let me keep going. So again, this is a, a dream oracle, and so she will talk about what the reference of these kinds of dreams mean, and we're just going to read them as the oracle. Um, but I love that dream interpretation is a part of this, this oracle deck. It is important to note how we are personally represented in the dreams of other worlds. If a dream like this is experienced, write down the events and try to determine the underlying theme. The underlying theme is a clue that will assist you in processing what you need to do in your waking life in order to resolve the issue, create change, or provide more insight concerning the situation. This card can also mean that you will be working with other worlds, dimensions, or within the dream world. This can also relate to contact with energies from aforementioned places. I was wrong, this is not the Ten of Cups of this deck, but there is one like it. Other Worlds is... Okay. This is about tapping to some other sense. Some other information is coming from some other world. We could look at this as like dream work or shadow work, um, ancestral work. And um, this, is, this is where we take information from which to unstick ourselves. 
Now the final card stuck, wishing to escape or move, but unable to do so, a situation one cannot leave. Surrounding symbols are key. What are we stuck in and what elements might be involved? Are we alone? This dream usually indicates a message from our subconscious that we need to change. Movement and revolution. That we need change, movement, and revolution in our lives. Um, I just got a message of, of some sort of fantasy world here. Somebody's living in a fantasy and not really... My goodness. Someone's living in a fantasy and not truly embodying or listening to those body feelings of healing that needs to occur. I think that's why healing is here in reverse. Stuck is here. And other worlds is here. Someone is in another world. But... Uh, I think not not intentionally not receiving messages that might be coming to them that will help them move forward. Who is this for? Let's see, who is this for? The other deck I'm using today is the uh, Golden Thread Tarot. Looks pretty cool. Very nice gilded artwork, gilded line art. It is a dense, thick, heavy deck. Underneath we have the Queen of Cups. Seven of Cups. The Emperor, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, King of Swords, Queen of Wands, what's that? A oh, Nine of Pentacles, Tower. Okay. So if this message is radi resonating for you somehow, what I'm getting is that there, there's maybe just some confusion about what to do right now. It's like you want to take action, but you're really not sure what direction to go in. Um, and again, the message here is to pay attention to what maybe the body is literally trying to tell you. Is there a pain in a specific part of your body? Um, is there some sort of annoying sort of thing that um, you can't seem to shake? What feels like is being what? What does it? What in your life feels like is stuck right now or stuck to you? Uh, maybe that's why I've been feeling this way today. Um, nothing in particular. Not tired. Not you know, but just like this, um, and I don't want to say lack of motivation, it's just simply that time needs to exist and we need to feel ourselves existing within time right now. Um, this is about tapping into your intuition, that's what the Queen of Cups is, really understanding what we feel. Look at this card, isn't that cool? Understanding how we feel in the moment will clue us into what needs to happen next. But if there's confusion, it's because we're, we're not allowing ourselves time to process all the different stimuli that, that are coming at us. When, we're, when, when we practice being open, right? If you are somebody who is very open, um, empathetic, um, and just generally likes to be open to the experience of life, things can come at us from any which direction, and even if they're all good things, that is a lot of things to process. And so that's the confusion here, is that there's just so much going on. So instead of um, moving forward, it's a time actually to take a step back and to rejuvenate and renew um, and process all that has happened. This is about building, um, a refortif refortifying yourself for what 
comes next. Um, what I see here, there, there's definitely a few cards on the table that are very, um, sort of the Knight of Pentacles is here, this is like pre-Empress sort of energy. So again, this, just the energy of nurturing and luxury, taking care of oneself, uh, next to the Queen of Wands. Um, someone understands that this is what needs to occur in order to prepare for, and you know, unfortunately, or fortunately, the tower is coming. And I stopped myself from saying unfortunately because we need change. It is so obvious that we need, like, so many things to change. And so what can you do to prepare in the face of change? Make sure you're in the right um, place in uh, mind, body, and spirit. Make sure that um, you can trust yourself and trust the people who, who um, you surround yourself with who also care about you. Ah, yes, there's that message from earlier. Um, if you're somebody who is often in the service of others, um, very community oriented or just likes to help people, if you're also not helping yourself, how are you showing up for other people? And I don't just mean fill the cup and then so the cup can overflow and pour from an empty cup, like none of that stuff. I just mean that don't be a martyr as in to do things for the sake of others and then not for yourself because then you're not truly practicing what you preach like yes we care about you being okay too but how are you really practicing the thing that you are I don't even want to say preach but because I do feel like this is for somebody who does a lot of things for others but then when it comes to help themselves they're stuck this is for somebody who needs to take some time out from, from some, some maybe some community project or somebody who's um, splitting their efforts. And maybe this is just a temporary feeling too, but I do have this very loud message of coming back to the body so that it can tell you something that you need to know. Um, maybe some of you have like um, a chronic physical thing. Um, what's that saying to you? How can you listen to that? How can you absorb that message differently? Uh, people like to say the issues are in your tissues, which I just find pretty fun to say. But it's so true. What else do I see here? I think I'll keep it at that because, you know, like I said, I, I do want to um, get on to some Zodiac specific messages. And so, um, in the effort of self-preservation, I'll, I'll keep this one where it is. Let me know if it resonates for you. Um, let me know what you guys are feeling today or whenever you're, you're getting this message. So, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe and I will um, be posting Zodiacs very soon. Alright, so take care of yourself.